Thank you so much for joining me today, Carla. You are back in SA Integrated Therapy space for this conversation. I know that you have been away for a little bit because you have just recently had baby Eluca. Yes, thank you for having me. It's good to be back. To talk about traditional Chinese medicine, we're gonna talk about it in the realm of yin yoga today, mainly. Can you tell me what traditional Chinese medicine is briefly? I, I know it's this big, beautiful, rich um, practice, but can you tell me briefly what it is? So it is an umbrella term and it encompasses things including acupuncture, herbal medicine, gua sha, cupping, heat therapy, even lifestyle and diet therapy, and things like qigong and tai chi. So it looks at all forms, all parts of the body, um, and looking at the body as a whole. So looking at mind, body, and spirit. So it really is this holistic practice. Definitely. When it comes to traditional Chinese medicine and yin yoga, we're working on the meridian lines in the body when we're working on yin. So we're moving the body in different ways, working on the meridian lines. Can you tell me what meridian lines are? Yes, well, that's a hard question to answer, but to break it down, you can visualize them as channels or pathways or even highways in which um, energy moves along. So you can imagine energy being a car or a vehicle moving along a highway and they all connect into the internal organs. So you can treat the internal organs by these meridian pathways. So by moving the body in these different shapes, as well as with acupuncture, you can start to move the energy along these highways? Yes, that's right. So the energy is generally referred to as qi in traditional Chinese medicine. Um, can you tell me a little bit about that? So qi in a nutshell is vital energy or life force. So it sustains all life and it is nourishing all the organs and basically it's the essence of life. So in other cultures, for example, in India, it's known as prana and it sustains all life and homeostasis. So talking about this idea of balance and bringing the body back into homeostasis, there's this idea or theory in traditional Chinese medicine, which is the yin-yang theory. Can you tell me a little bit about that? So yin-yang theory basically makes up all things in life and in nature and it's opposing forces that are mutually dependent, so they can't exist without each other. So to break it down, it's kind of opposing forces like day and night, black and white, masculine, feminine. So yin represents all the stillness, quietness, feminine energy, and you can look at it like the mountain. And then you can look at yang, like the moving, fiery, warming energy of the sun and daytime, and that's masculine energy. And you can look at it like the moving trees on that mountain. So they exist together and they can't exist without each other. Um, and there's also yin within yang and yang within the yin. So it's a very interesting concept, but it makes up all forces within nature and within our human body as well. And that's the symbol. So if you picture the yin yang symbol, there's that little dark within the light and the light within the dark. Yes. And that's what that represents? Definitely, yes. Amazing. And so you would say then for yin yoga, for example, yin yoga would be the yin to the yang, like a strong vinyasa practice or going to the gym or something like that. So it's, yes. And it, it really, uh, it's so important to take that time to nourish the yin and honor the yin because the equally is important. So you can't burn out that yang because then you'll be deficient in, for, for example, your yang and then they're not going to work together and there'll be imbalances. So it's really important to honor that yin and yin yoga really, really works with that because you're still and you're holding those postures for a long enough time to stimulate the meridians and work with the yin energy. When you have clients come in here to SA Integrated Therapies, do you find nowadays, just because we have a faster paced culture, do you feel like you are generally offering more stillness type practices or more yin for your traditional Chinese medicine treatments? Or do you feel like there's more yin? Definitely more yin because most of us think that to stay fit and healthy, we have to go for a run or smash ourselves at the gym which in fact can be more detrimental if you're you know, not balanced or you're living out of balance. So we really need to work with that yin energy and bringing a bit more stillness, a bit more breath, uh, and you know, honoring that, that feminine energy within us. And I do see a lot of women, so most of us are living too much in our yang, our masculine energy, and we're creating that imbalance. 
So you mentioned you see a lot of women. We'll also talk a little bit about this. So I know that women's health is a big passion for you. Can you tell me what kind of women's health issues you work with when people come in the door? So I guess over my time in practice, which is probably just over 10 years, I have found that women's health is probably the thing that I see a lot of, or probably most of, and there's a bit of a gap in that Western medicine treatment front. So I see everything from hormone imbalances, you know, regulating cycles, but my, my biggest passion is fertility, pregnancy, and then that postnatal care, which in our culture is often forgotten or not even thought about. So speaking about prenatal and postnatal care, you actually have this beautiful business that you co-founded called The Golden Month. Can you tell me a little bit about that? Sure, so it is traditional postnatal care for the modern mother where we take the aspects of Chinese medicine and Ayurvedic healing properties and practices that have been used all around the world forever. And we bring them into the home for the modern mother and look after her right after her ba baby. So it's usually that first month or the first 40 days. And we cook nourishing warming foods to support digestion and healing. And we also give her treatments like warming herbal baths, acupuncture and postnatal massage. Yeah, that sounds really beautiful actually, to have that nourishment brought back to you after giving birth, that's really incredible. And we focus so much on preparing for birth and labor that you don't often think about what's next and that's really when we need that support. And our culture doesn't really, you know, enforce that, um, that care that's needed. So mothers end up burning out and then they come to us for a second baby and they're completely depleted. So, you know, you have to try and build them up again. Are you taking some of that care on yourself now that you've just had baby two? Yes, all of it. That's why I created it, <laughs> so I can reap the benefits. That's amazing. And is it available just here in Adelaide or other places as well? Uh, we're in four states now. So we're in Queensland, New South Wales and Victoria. And we also have um, products that are available Australia-wide and now worldwide that you can buy and create yourself. Incredible. Well, well done. Well done as a mum and a co-founder of this beautiful business. Thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for coming in today. I really appreciate you coming in and giving us your time when this is such a special time for you and your new book. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.